Good morning. Thanks you guys for joining me. We are talking about balance this week. So important, such an important part of our yoga practice. I haven't talked with my students about this in a long time, so um, just really thinking about what balance means and are we living a balanced life? So we can look at this from a perspective of, of course, our physical balance. We work on that in our yoga practice, but also balance in our lives and are we balancing out our spiritual life with God? So when we're off balance, we know that we're not spending enough time in the areas that we should be or we're spending too much time in areas that we shouldn't be. So today we'll just take a little look at that and just kind of reflect on our balance in our lives. So take a few deep breaths here as you lie on your back, just taking those really big inhales and exhales, or maybe you just want to take smaller breaths, really whatever feels right for you. And just thinking of that circle of your life, I like to think about the pie graph, the different areas of our lives. Are we spending too much, air, too much time in certain areas? Are we spending enough time with God, most importantly? So take three or four more breaths here, just taking a little think about that. One big collective breath together. One more big breath in. And then a big exhale out. Let's start to stretch. Take the arms overhead. Point your toes. Getting that beautiful long stretch in your spine. First one always feels so good. Just Really lengthening out that spine. We're going to bring the knees into the chest with your exhale. Squeeze them in really tight. Take your legs high with your inhale. And take your legs wide with your exhale. We're going to stay here and roll out your feet. Circle them out. You're going to stretch into your ankles, your feet, your toes. Take one more, and then draw the legs together. Drop your knees back into your chest with your exhale. And with your inhale, walk it all the way out and stretch it out. So go back into your upside down Superman pose, lengthening. And let's do that again. Exhale, bring your knees into your chest, really press them in. Inhale, legs come high. Exhale, legs come wide. So we're going to stay here and this time go the opposite way. So whichever way feels different from the last time. Again, give those toes a stretch. Noticing your breath here. We'll take one more. And bring those legs together. Exhale, your knees drop into your chest. Very nice. Bring your feet to your mat. We're going to take a nice simple twist. So with your knees bent, arms out to the side, shift the hips to the left and the knees to the right. So just check your knees and your feet and your hips. You want everything stacked. Looking to your left hand. And take a few breaths here. Just allowing that twist to happen, that lovely spinal twist. All right, we're going to take that left arm 
sweep it all the way over to your right arm. Press your hands together and then sweep it all the way back. So let's do that again. So we exhale as we sweep it across, press the palms together, and then sweep it back. And just continue to do this big motion all the way across the body. It's warming up the shoulders, your upper back. Let's take a few more. Sweep it across. Use that breath. will be our last one. And then we'll take that arm all the way back out and we'll switch to the other side. So bring your feet to the mat, shift your hips to the right, knees to the left. Again, just take a few seconds here just to check everything out, make sure everything is stacked. And then we're going to this time, well, let's just stay here for a little bit, sorry. We'll stay here for a few breaths before we do that arm sweep. Try looking out to that right hand. Just noticing how your spinal twist feels, how your hips feel, how your back feels. We'll take a couple more breaths. All right, so this time sweeping right arm to left, right hand comes to your left hand. And then opening it all the way up. Great job, you guys. Sweep it across. Open it up. Use that breath. Exhale as you sweep across. Inhale as you open it up. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, open. Let's do a few more. Beautiful job. This will be our last one. Sweep it across. Open it up. Beautiful job. Bring everything back into center. Draw your knees back into your chest. Take your legs high. Cross your right ankle over your left ankle. Bend your knees. Take your feet in your hands and draw your feet into your body. So we're going to press the legs. If you want to rock here, this feels really nice. If you want to add that in, go for it. All right, so bring it back into center. Notice which foot's on the top. We're going to switch. So take your legs high. We're going to take the opposite foot on the top. Bend your knees. Draw the feet in. Draw the legs in. Get really tight. And again, maybe you want to rock here, rolling out your lower spine. It's just so good to just take those deep breaths, just to breathe. It's such a gift. A little bit more here. Bring it back into center leg. High, point your toes really strong and then flex your feet and send your heels up towards the sky. Point your toes, flex your feet, point and flex, point and flex. Two more times, really strong, strong point, strong flex. Last one, make it count. And the heels up. Great job, you guys. Drop your knees to your chest. Hands behind your knees. Let's rock forward and back. Fill out that spine. Whenever you're ready, come all the way up. And we'll stay in our seated position. Keep your legs really wide. Flex your feet. You want to be on your sit bones. Remember that? So adjust everything so that you're on those sit bones. Take a big breath up. Inhale. Take a big forward fold. Exhale. Stretch it out. Reach it out looking down. 
really flexing those feet. Let's take two more breaths here. Walk it up. Bring it all the way up. Take the soles of your feet together. Come into your butterfly pose. Walk your hands behind you. Come into your chest opener. Leaning back. Hands go wherever they need to go to get that best chest opener here. Lifting your heart space. Think about your shoulder blades. Maybe you're hugging those together in your back. Two or three deep breaths here into the chest. Super job. Bring it center. Walk it forward again. Looking down, reaching out. Notice what you feel in your hips. We'll take two or three deep breaths here. Come on up. Nice job, you guys. Take your legs wide again. We're going to take a nice big stretch over to the side, dropping your ear to your knee, lengthening out the side of your body, reaching for your toes. You're looking out, away from you, getting that lovely stretch down the side of the body. So really think about your breath. Think about where you're breathing into. It's that top side of your body there. So think about that rib cage. Feel the breath in the side of the body. And we'll take one more breath here. Come on back into the center, go to the other side. Nice long stretch here to the side, lengthening out the side of the body. See how the side feels. Noticing your breath, and then notice where that breath is. Feel that in the side of the body, that rib cage expanding. We'll take a couple more breaths here. Nice job. Let's bring it back into center. Cross your legs. If you want to, you can go for your half lotus here. If you want to take one on top, you don't need to, or maybe both. It's really up to you. We're gonna Take the arms in front, interlace your fingers, press your palms out, drop your chin, and look down. Bring your chin towards your chest. Really focus on rounding your upper back here and separating your shoulder blades. Take one more breath, really press the palms out. And then lengthen up. Press your palms up towards the sky. Take a nice little stretch to the side. And come center and go the other way. Awesome job, you guys. Bring it back into center. Float the arms down. If your legs are in half lotus, go ahead and switch to the other side. Or just stay right where you are. Bring your hands to your knees and make some nice big circles with your shoulders. Inhaling up and exhaling as you drop them down. And we'll take one or two more circles here. Great job, you guys. Let's go the other way. Work out that junk. Work out that stress. Anything tight in those shoulders. Use your breath. One or two more here. And then bring it back into center. So I want you to do whatever you want to do with your neck here. If you want to make circles or if you want to look side to side. You guys are experienced yogis, so do whatever you like with your neck here. 
Sweep your chin across your chest. And just do a combination of things, or maybe find something new. Maybe you find a new movement today in your neck that you like. Just make it your own. And notice your breath. So let's take a few more, just whatever feels good in that neck. Awesome job, you guys. Let's bring it back into center. Great job. Come on your knees. All right, so we're talking about balance today. So let's go to our hunting dog pose. We're going to take right wrist under your shoulder, left leg out. Make sure it's nice and strong. And then bring that right arm out. Right thumb pointed towards the sky. Again, it's opposite arm with opposite leg. Left toes are pointed down, core is strong. Make sure that left wrist is under your left shoulder. We're gonna hold here in hunting dog for three breaths. Looking at the mat. Balancing, using your core. Super nice job. Let's come back into center. Let your hips sway a little bit. Press them out. Bring them back into center and we'll do the other side. Right leg out. Toes towards the ground. Make sure your right wrist is under your right shoulder. Left arm comes out, left thumb up. Really press that right heel out. You're going to stay here. Again, we're working on balance. You're using your core. That is a very important part of our balancing poses. So be mindful of your core. Mindful of your gaze. We're looking at one spot on your mat. We'll hold for three more breaths. All right, let's take it down and gently sway your hips. Beautiful job. Great job, you guys. Take a couple more. Bring it back into center. Super nice. Calf muscle stretch, right leg back. Press into the ball on the toes of your right foot, pushing your right heel back. So we're gonna go from here into a little core work. So we're gonna bring that knee to your nose and exhale and round your butt. And send it back out to your calf muscle stretch just for one breath. We'll do it four more times. Here we go. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, bring it back. Take a breath. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, take it back. Take a breath. Got two more. Exhale, round. Really round your spine. Bring that knee in. Take it back. Remember, you're crunching in those abdominal muscles. Let's do it one more time here. Be intentional. Crunch it in strong. Bring your knee to your nose. Take it back. Come into your tabletop. Do the other side. We're going to press into that ball of that left foot. Push that left heel back. You guys can always shift your hands around here if you need to. If you need more space and you want to move them forward, that's fine. However you can get that best positioning, right? So take one more breath here. Really press it back. And then here we go. Knee to nose. Round. Exhale. Inhale. Take it back. Take a breath here. Do it again. Round the back. Remember, knee to nose. See how close you can get. Take it back. Oh, nice. We've got three more. Let's go really strong. Exhale, round. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, 
final run. Inhale, take it back. Take that breath. We've got one more. Make it strong. Really crunch those abdominal muscles. Inhale, take it back. Super nice job, you guys. Go to an upward facing dog, focusing on the front of the body, stretching that out, lengthening out your spine, stretching out those hip flexors. So press into the tops of the feet, lengthening up. And then drop your chin down and look down, focusing on the back of your neck. Press your chin towards your chest. Bring your chin back up. And then bring your head to center. Look over your left shoulder. Head center. Look over your right shoulder. Bring it back into center. Good job, you guys. Let's come back into our tabletop. And then come into your downward facing dog. Lift your hips high. Find your down dog. Notice your hands and your feet. Notice the backs of your legs. Notice your belly. Draw it in. Let's walk out that dog. Take your legs wide, walk your hands to your feet. Once you get there, come to your left leg, draw your body to that leg, look at your leg. Lovely stretch here. Then we'll go the other way. Draw the body and look at the leg. Let's bring it back into center. So lowly rise up, so you're gonna push the ground away, round it back, soft knees, push that ground away, and slowly rise up ragdoll style. And take a big breath up, and turn your toes out, and exhale down, toes are out. Inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Big breath up. We're going to stay here so you're in a nice big star pose. Legs wide, arms wide. So really reaching out through your fingertips. And then take hands together in a big fist. We're going to take that big hammering motion. Take it down and bring it up. Take it down, bring it up. So good for those legs. So notice that the more you sit down, the more this works those legs. Nice job, you guys. Let's do three more. Really strong. Down and up. Down and up. Beautiful job. Last one. Take it all the way up. Stay here. We're going to take a nice stretch down the side of the body. So release your hands, stretch it down the side, lengthen out the other side of the body. And then we'll come center and we'll go the other way. And then we'll bring it back into center. So we're going to keep the arms high. Toe heel your way in so that your feet are under your hips. And we're going to go into a balancing pose. We're going to go into our balancing stick. See my arms? So bring your hands up. Get over here so you can maybe see my arms. Get, put your hands together in steeple. We're going to take that step forward with your right leg. Be intentional. Plant your foot. Left leg comes up. Going into balancing pose. It's called balancing stick. It's a lot like warrior three. You're looking at the ground. Your left leg comes high. And forming that letter T. We're going to bring that left foot back to the mat. Bring your right foot back to its place. Drop the arms down. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're going to do one more up. Stay here. Hands together in steeple. And we'll do the other side. So that left foot comes forward. Plant that foot. Remember the four corners of your foot. Use those. Use your toes. Right leg comes up when you're ready. Body comes down. You're looking at the ground. Making hopefully that letter T. 
balancing stick. Whatever you do is great, you guys. Don't sweat it. Just keep breathing and do your best. Okay, let's bring that right foot back down, left foot down, back to its place. Float the arms down and exhale. And inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up. We'll take one more down, one more up, and then a big swan dive down. You find your way back into your downward facing dog. Okay, great job. So remember, we don't sweat for the balancing poses. Okay, we do our best. We know that we're learning. Okay, so we never beat ourselves up over those. From our downward facing dog, bring your right leg high. Right foot forward for runner's lunge. Okay, let's get some movement. Maybe today you go up and down instead of forward and back. Or maybe you want to go forward and back. That's up to you. We're going to take a couple more. And then coming back to runner's lunge, let's go to lizard. So remember there's a lot of versions of lizard. One is you can take your right arm and wrap it under your right leg, dropping your body down, letting that right knee fall out. Okay, that's an option. The other option is both hands on the left side, stay lifted here. And again, letting that right knee fall out to the right side. You can also bring your forearms down to the ground, to the mat. I'm going to turn for you. You want to bring your forearms down and your lizard, again, dropping the knee out to the right side. So you've got three options there. So take whichever one you like. Maybe today you try, try a different one than you usually do. And we'll take a couple more breaths in our lizard. All right, we're going to come back into center, come back to your runner's lunge, go into your pyramid pose. So we're going to lengthen our legs, toes are pointed forward, feet are about hips distance apart laterally. We're bowing out over that front leg. And then we're going to lift the back heel, move forward, and then drop the back heel and lift your front toes, move back. And then just switching forward and back, forward and back. Okay, so from heel lifted to toes lifted. Just kind of rocking it out forward and back. And we'll take a couple more here. And then bring it back into center. Find your runner's lunge. Drop your left knee. Come up to your crescent pose. So find a nice strong crescent. Arms come wide. Leaning back. Opening up the chest. Big breath here. Hands behind the head. Let the head rest into your hands. Elbows are wide. Big breath here. Arms high, hands to the mat. Tuck your left toes, right leg comes back, downward facing dog. We're gonna go into our flow, our vinyasa, find your plank. Lower down strong, elbows pointed back. Untuck your toes, lift. Tucking your toes, downward facing dog. Press it back. Super job, you guys. Push into your right foot. Left leg comes high. Left foot forward. Runner's lunge. So again, maybe today, instead of moving back and forward, maybe you go up and down. Your choice. Always good to have choices, right? So a few more. Just whatever feels good here in that runner's lunge. Getting that movement. And then we're going to come back in the center. So again, we're going to go to lizard. So you take the lizard you like. Wrap the arm under and drop down, letting your left knee drop out to the left side. We're both hands on the right side. 
all the way down, maybe forearms, maybe arms are straight. Just take the option you like. And you do a different one on this side than you did on the other side. And guys, you can always drop that back knee if you want to. Take a couple more breaths and lizard. So good for those hips. All right, find your way back into your runner's lunge. So we're going to go to our pyramid pose. So lengthening out your legs. Toes are pointed forward. If you need to adjust your feet, go ahead. We're bowing out. We'll stay here for a couple breaths in our pyramid. A lovely stretch in those legs. And then lifting your back heel, dropping it down and lifting your front toes. So just going back and forth again, lifting back heel and then front toes. Shifting back and forth. Let's take a few more. Such a good stretch into that front leg. Or maybe you feel it in the back leg more. All right, coming back to runner's lunge. Right knee drops. We find that crescent pose. Coming up strong and tucking your back toes. Leaning back, arms wide. Opening the chest. We'll take a breath here. Bring your hands to the back of your head. Let your head lean into your hands. Elbows wide. And take a breath here. Arms come high. Hands to the mat. Tuck your right toes. Left leg back. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and take it slow. Take your vinyasa length. Lower down strong. Over up or up dog. Downward facing dog. Nice job, you guys. Let's go into our child's pose. Knees wide, toes together, head on the mat. If you feel like you want to shift those hips today, just getting some movement in your hips, if that feels good in your child's pose, please feel free to go for that. Balance. It's really so important to have balance in life, and there's so many different areas that we need to have balance in. So we're thinking today about, of course, physical balance because it's yoga, and that is a great aspect of yoga is working on your balance. But how about your balance with Jesus? How is that going? How's your pie chart going? Are you spending enough time with God? Because in Him, we do find our balance, truly. Acts 17, 28. For in Him, we live and move and have our being. So we have to be in Him. We have to be with Him. We have to make Him a priority. So just take a moment here to think about balance in your life, not so much the physical, but what about God? What's God doing? Are you staying balanced? Are you staying in Him enough? All right, let's take a nice big stretch over to the left side. So walk the hands out and to the left, reaching out. Maybe you want to take your right hand over your left hand. And then we'll walk to the other side. Nice big stretch. Reach out. Lengthen. 
Maybe your left hand over your right hand. Back in the center, one big breath here. Let it go. Find your upward facing dog. Lengthening up. We're going to bend that right knee. Lift your right foot, look over your right shoulder for your right foot. Drop it down. We'll do the other side. Same thing. Look for that left foot. Drop it down and one more time. Right foot comes up. Drop it down. Look over that left shoulder for your left foot. Drop it down. Tuck your toes. Lift. Downward facing dog. Push into your left foot. Take your right leg really high. Bend your right knee. Stack your hips. Flex your right foot. Drop your right foot as far down to your booty as you can. <laughs> And kick yourself. Press the ground away. Use those hands. Strong arms. And then drop your knee down. Take it over to your left arm or left elbow. And then sweep to your right arm. And take it back up with your breath. And then we'll do that again. Knee comes down. Left arm, right arm. Take it up with your breath. One more time. Take it to your left arm, take it to your right arm, take it up with your breath. Let's go to our warrior one. Flip out your back foot. Look strong. Sink into your pose. Drop your hands to your lower back. Thumbs out, fingers down. Take your back bend. Let those shoulders fall back. Bring the arms high again so you're back to your warrior one. We're going to drop the body down, arms out for your airplane. Looking down at your mat, left hand down, right arm high for revolving. And then switch, right hand down, left arm high. Your side angle stretch. Use that right arm to press into your right leg. Release back into our airplane. Rise back up to warrior one. And then go to eagle arms. Drop your right arm under your left. Bring your palms together. Sink down into your pose. Your eagle arms. Dropping your shoulders down. Such a nice shoulder stretch. We're going to come down humbly. Use that core. And then come back up. Release the arms, take the arms high, hands to the mat, right leg back, downward facing dog, walk it out, take your plank, move to your flow, or not, or take a different version, whatever you like, make sure you're breathing, the only thing you have to do. So we're all back to downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Flex your left foot. See if you can drop that left foot down to that booty. Take a breath, press the ground away. And then drop the knee down. Take it over to the right arm, right elbow, and then left. And then take it high, back to your three-legged dog. Two more times, here we go, make it strong. Take it to the right, take it to the left. Take it back up to three-legged dog. One more time, knee to the right, knee to the left. Three-legged dog. Find your warrior one. Flip out your back foot, come up strong. Sink into your pose. Nice job, you guys. Let's drop those hands to your lower back. Thumbs out, fingers down, back bend. Lift the heart space. Take a big breath. Let those shoulders fall back. Bring it back into center, arms high. 
Drop it down, airplane. Body down, looking down, arms out. Core is strong. We're gonna go to revolving. Drop your right hand down, left arm high. And then we'll switch, left hand down, right arm high for your side angle stretch. Use that left arm to really press into that left leg. Get more strength there in your pose. We'll come back into airplane, looking down at the mat, arms are out. Rise back up, nice and strong. So here we go, eagle arms. So take that opposite arm under that you took last time. Drop the elbows down, bring hands together, get a fist or just press your palms together. Rock your shoulders. You have to find some balance here. Keep your weight in the center between those two legs. Okay, don't go forward or back. Keep it right in the center. Feel that nice stretch into your shoulders, and then we're gonna come down humbly. We're gonna bring it back up. Release those arms, you're back to your warrior one pose. Hands come to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. And again, you can take your flow or you can leave it or just take your version, whatever you like. job, you guys. We're going to walk into the middle of the mat. We're going to slowly rise up, ragdoll style. Feet are right under your hips. Take a big breath up. So we're going to go to our tree pose. So exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. All right. So just let those arms float to your sides. We're going to ground the right foot. So find the four corners of your right foot. Under your big toe, inside heel, outside heel, and under your little toe. Use your toes to grip. Okay, if you want to come off your mat and go somewhere maybe that's a harder surface, feel free to do that. Bring the opposite foot over. Okay, so toes are on the ground. We're going to start there with your heel on the opposite ankle. Just a nice little simple tree pose here, pressing your palms together. Okay, so you're going to find a focal point in front of you, find something to focus on. It's an important part of our balance for sure. So you can stay here or maybe bring your foot up onto your tree trunk, it's up to you. We don't want to put it on the knee. You guys remember that? You know that? You can put it anywhere else on your leg. Okay, if you fall out, just try again. Your focal point. Use the four corners of your foot and your toes. And if your leg is shaking, that's good. You're creating better balance. You're creating stronger muscles. And that's how we get better. Lift your branches if you would like to. And bring everything back in. We'll take it down and shake it out, and then we'll do the other side. And you guys know what I'm going to say. Whatever you did was great. I always say that. Okay? Because you're working on your balance. So that's all good. Okay? Go ahead and do the other foot. Use the four corners. Ground the foot. Ground the toes. Bring the opposite leg over. Maybe you want to go straight into it, or maybe you want to stay here with your toes on the mat. Palms pressing together. Finding that focal point on the side. It's going to be a different spot probably than you were on the other side. And let's go for tree pose. So maybe you want to keep your toes down. Maybe you want to bring your foot up. And remember, there's always that option to touch down and bring it back up. It's like you're testing the waters, touching your toes into the waters. Again, if you feel wobbly, if you feel shaking, that's okay. That is part of this process. You can bring your arms up, your branches if you'd like to. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. We don't want to be tense. 
inner balancing pose. Another breath or so, wherever you are. Bring everything back into center. Drop that foot down. Nice job. We'll shake it out. And let's take one big breath in, all the way up, and a big salon dive, all the way down. Find your way to your downward facing dog, and your child's pose. Great job, you guys. So think about it. Balance. You don't really have to think a lot about the ones that we do in class. We just kind of do them and we work on them, and that's great. What about your life? Are you balanced? Is the slice of the pie that represents God big enough in your life? Again, this verse in Acts said in Him. We live and move and have our being. That's when we're in Him. Things work well. When we're not in Him, things don't work as well. We know that. Let's take a few more breaths here. Drop it down and 
gently let your lower legs windshield wipers side to side. Take a few more. Bring it back in the center. Drop your toes to the ground. Come on up. And gently find your way to your back. Nice job, everybody. There you go. Well, let's draw the knees into the chest. Just kind of roll out your lower back here. And then bring the soles of the feet together. So come center, bring soles of the feet together. Go to your lifted butterfly here. Put your hands on your feet, drawing your feet in towards the body. And going for that inner gray muscle stretch. You can get some movement here as well if you want. And if you're moving side to side, we'll bring it back into center. We're going to go into our lying pigeon pose. The left leg comes out. Right knee is bent. Right foot is in your left hand. Right hand on your right knee. Draw that right leg in. You can really bring it into the body. Hug it in, that nice stretch on the right side. You can get some movement here if you want to. A couple more breaths here in your lying pigeon. Bring it center, right leg high. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Flex your foot. Send the heel up and draw that leg in. Just hug it into your body. A couple more breaths here. Try to take the bend out of the knee if you can. And then circle that right foot just a couple or two or three times and then reverse. And then we'll go to our twist. So come center, bend your right knee, take it over the left side for twist, right arm out, look to your right hand. Notice your spine, notice your belly, draw the belly button in. Notice your breath. And bring it back into center, unwind. Right knee out to the right side. Wonderful hip opener. Shoulders are squared. We'll take three or four breaths in your hip opener. Last breath here. Right knee comes in. Gently extend your right leg out to the mat. Bring that left leg in. Lion pigeon. So, you guys know the drill. Just draw that leg in. Make sure you've got a good grip on that foot. And you hug that leg into your body. Feeling that deep stretch into the left hip. And you can stay here or you can move into that left hip. Wherever you are, take a couple more breaths here. And then bring it all back into center. Left leg comes high. 
Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. And flex your left foot. Draw that leg in. And then try to take the bend out of the knee if you can without any pain. And we'll circle that left foot a few times. In the opposite way. Bring it all center. Bend that left knee, find your twist. And you can shift that right hip under your left. Left knee over, left arm out. breaths here. And then wind. Bring it back into center. Left knee out to the left side. Right side stays down. We're off their shoulders. Keep your chin up. Just noticing your breath. Breathe into your hip opener. We'll take three or four more breaths here. that left knee in, bring the right knee in, rock and roll out your lower spine. Whenever you're ready, find your happy baby. Drop the knees down, gently move side to side. Close your eyes down, and a big happy baby smile. And just make this whatever you want here, taking any variations you like. We'll take a few more. Back in the center, put the feet together, soles of the feet together, draw the feet in. You can use your elbows to press into your butterfly legs. And maybe you want to bring your head up towards your feet, rounding your spine. Bring the head back down. If it's up, and drop your knees back into your chest. There's your exhale. Take the arms overhead. There's your inhale. Stretch out your spine. Point your toes. Lengthen. Exhale. Knees into your chest. Head to knees and knees to head. One more big, big breath in. Stretch all the way back. We're going to stay here. Let's interlace the fingers. Press the palms back. So just stay in this nice, big, long stretch. Thinking about the fingers and the palms of the hands all the way down to your toes. Keep pressing those palms back. Keep breathing. Let's take one more breath in. Really press back. Exhale, knees come in, head to knees, and knees to head. Gently walk your legs out, float your arms to the sides, palms up. Widen the legs, let your feet flop open to the sides. 
One more big breath here. We're going to take in a big collective breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale big. And softly breathing. Allowing all, all to let go. Every bit of you. Start with the very top of your head, crown of your head, and the back of the head. Notice where your head meets the ground. Let your head relax. Now think about your eyes. Soften the eyes, the forehead, and your cheeks. Let them relax. Let your mouth relax. Tongue, mouth, and jaw. Just release. Down into your neck. And down to your shoulders. Noticing the sensations as you go and noticing the release as you pay attention to each area and let it go. Down into your left arm and down your right arm. Down to your wrists, allowing the arms to relax. And your left hand and down your right hand. Allow your hands and fingers to relax. And noticing your chest, your belly, and your hips. And allow the entire top side of your body to relax. Releasing with every breath. Noticing your glute muscles, lower, mid, and upper back, allowing all of it to release. your attention to your left leg and your right leg and allow your legs to relax all the way down to your ankles. Just feeling the softness and the heaviness in your legs. And then noticing your left foot and your right foot, allowing both feet to relax all the way to your toes. Feeling the heaviness of your feet. And then coming back to your breath. Bring your thoughts to Acts 17 28, which says, For in him we live and move and have our being wonderful verse for our Christ-centered yoga practice. In Him, we live and move and have our being. It's balance. We work on balance in yoga, but we need to work on balance in our lives as well. We know that when we focus on one point in our physical balancing poses, that helps us to not get thrown off and not to lose balance. So our spiritual life is the same when we focus on Jesus. It's easier to catch ourselves and come back in 
to stay balanced. Let's take a moment to reflect on that. Are there some areas in your spiritual life that you need to focus on more, bring in more balance? Let's take a moment here while we rest and breathe and reflect. job everybody. Let's gently bring back some movement. Roll over to your side, stay there for a breath or so. And we'll come back up for a prayer. our heads. Dear Heavenly Father God, we're just so grateful, God, that we know that when we fix our gaze on you, you draw us back in and we find that balance in our lives. Thank you, God, for being our center, for being our plumb line, for drawing us back in. Thank you, God, for what you did on the cross for us took the punishment of our sins so that we can live freely and without worry. We are so very thankful. Thank you for all that you've done for us, God. Thank you for these beautiful women. I pray this time together has blessed them top to bottom from inside out and that they feel renewed and refreshed because of you. We love you, God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in your holy and very precious name that we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thanks, you guys. Have a beautiful Monday. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you can make it on Wednesday, let me know. And otherwise, I hope to see you.